What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So the Build Back Better plan, will we see it by the end of the year? Now, I've been talking about this for about a month now, and just looking at the different moving pieces, we saw the House, they went ahead and passed the Build Back Better plan, and now it's sitting in the Senate. And once it got to the Senate, that's when I was saying, you know what, it doesn't look like we're going to see this done before the end of the year. It just, uh, I, I can't see them moving fast enough. Or we have the holidays coming, all that. So that's what I was saying. I said this a month ago, and you can check the videos a month ago, and you'll see that I was saying the same thing. Now we're looking at the situation where we are a couple of weeks away, and I'm going to take a look at some of the headlines that are coming out right now when it comes to Build Back Better. But first off on this channel, we talk about financial news and more. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification that we'll get notified anytime we put out a video. And like always, if you see my name and a picture of me in the comment section, make sure you also see a check mark next to my name. That check mark signifies that it's me. If you do not see that check mark, it's not me. It's someone trying to impersonate me. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and take, I wanna look at the headlines first because this is, um, it, it's interesting just to see uh, all the different outlets uh, covering this story. And uh, before it was, they were, they were talking a lot about what's going on with Build Back Better, what's going on with this president. This is President Biden's plan. This is the uh, $1.75 trillion uh, spending bill uh, that they wanted to get through. So we wanted the, the so they wanted the, the first infrastructure bill, that was the roads, bridges, broadband, and then the human infrastructure. This is the human infrastructure. So looking at the headlines now, and this is uh, the majority leader Schumer here, and he uh, Schumer says Build Back Better will be delayed. Okay, so that's pretty obvious. We know that that's that's going on because we're we're not seeing any movement right now. We know that Senator Manchin has some opposition to this. We know that Senator Cinema has opposition, and so we are seeing now that the, the reality and that reality is we're we're not moving forward uh, with this Build Back Better before the end of the year. Uh, second one here, Biden signals Build Back Better uh, may be delayed until next year. And yeah, we, we knew it, right? We knew it was going to be delayed. And we're, we're now getting some more information, or at least we're, we're looking at the headlines that we have the politicians coming out and saying, look, uh, we don't think this is going anywhere. Uh, Biden's Build Back Better under threat uh, from surging prices. And that's true. I mean, we're looking at inflation. That's a big deal, right? And this is uh, Goldman Sachs says this. Um, Graham says he thinks Biden's Build Back Better is dead forever. Now, uh, Senator Graham, he is a Republican, and Republicans haven't played a role at all when it comes to when it's coming to this Build Back Better plan. So they want it to be dead forever, uh, and that's unfortunate because there are some things in this Build Back Better plan that can help uh, Americans. But we we have politicians that are against it uh, entirely, and that's why I think doing separate bills that focus on some of these issues is probably going to be, if they can't get this big package through next year, then they're going to have to strongly start looking at doing these smaller little uh, bills and really hold the, the, the people who are opposing this, the, the Republicans at this point that are opposing this to hold them accountable for that. So you don't want a child tax credit. Okay. Let us vote. Let us put it on, on the floor, put it on the Senate floor and you can go ahead and vote against it. Uh, now, understand, before the child tax credit that we're looking at right now, before that even was, was uh, l let me talk about this for a second. Just So before the child tax credit that we're seeing now, there was a child tax credit, okay? There was a $2,000 child tax credit. They added to the child tax credit in the last package. They added about, I think it was about $1,600 uh, to the child tax credit. So instead of 2000 it became 3600 depending on old, how old your child is. And so what they also did with the child tax credit, it was much like a stimulus check. They were advancing the money to you so you were getting monthly payments. It was the same it was the same child tax credit. Okay? And this child tax credit, the first one, guess who voted for that? Senator Graham voted for that. Because that was a Republican bill. That was back in I believe it was 2017. That's when that $2000 uh child tax credit evolved or that's where it came from. And so now that you're looking at this this child tax credit now, and you have all this opposition, and in, re in reality, it's sixteen hundred dollars more than than the previous one. It, it, it's it's almost comical to to hear politicians say that they're against it, or to hear politicians have some reservations. Uh, it's just how it's being delivered. That's what they don't like. They don't like how it's being delivered. And when I say that, the monthly payments, they they don't they don't like that. And then you have some politicians that are 
opposed to the fact that if you are uh, not working, you're still receiving this child tax credit. Um, so that that's a that's another another issue. Now you do have some people, and I've had some people that have let me know in the comments that they are elderly, their grandparents, and they're now taking care of their uh, their grandkids, and that's why they're receiving a child tax credit. So there are a lot of different things that you have to think about when it comes to okay, well, if you're not working, you're not going to get the child tax credit. Well, there's there's some obviously there's some some different uh, circumstances that might uh, preclude you from working. And that could be a situation where you should still be able to receive a child tax credit. Okay, let's let's go back over. I just wanna take a look at a few more headlines and then I'm gonna give you my opinion when it comes to Build Back Better, which you guys pretty much already know. Democrats failed to deliver year in Build Back Better deal. Uh, and this is an opinion piece here. So it, we have a lot of, uh, lot of stuff coming out here and, and all of them are saying pretty much that Build Back Better will not uh, go through this year. Uh, Democrats pivot to voting rights and build back better a uh, stalls in Senate. Uh, Biden says build back better will take more time. So you see, I mean, I, I don't see this build back better plan going anywhere uh, anytime soon. So we're going to be looking at next year. And what that means is there, there's really no deadline. So because next year we have the, the spending, they're going to have to talk about the government spending in February. There's a deadline there. But as far as Build Back Better now, it can just be pushed on and on. And we might even be into summer of, of next year, summer of 2022, still looking at uh, the the possibility of having a Build Back Better plan. But when it comes to the Democrats, I think they made a, a real bad move here in the sense that they they promised too much and they weren't able to deliver. And they, they the talk was, yes, we'll get it done this year. We're going to get it done this year. You even had a majority leader, Schumer, just a, a few days ago saying that it would get done uh, this year. And now that it's not going to get done this year, that's all people care about. Okay, A lot of people don't even know what's in this Build Back Better plan. Uh, and all they care about is the fact that it didn't get done. It failed. And that's what Republicans will run on. They fail. Look, they can't even get together on their own. Uh, you need to get them out of office and let us come in so we can, uh, the reality is so we can do the same thing because that's primarily what would happen uh, we, we'd see a situation where, uh, and this happens with every party. I mean, there, there's always that division, right? Uh, amongst amongst people in the same party, this this happens. And we saw this with the Republicans when they tried to take down the Affordable Care Act and you had Senator McCain with that famous thumb, thumbs down on the Senate floor. So it happens, it happens with both sides. And we're looking at a situation right now where I think, I, I think Democrats really overplayed their hand and now it's all we're going to hear is hear about is the failure, the failure. You were, you failed to get this done. And so at, at this point, all I can say is the the only other option and, and we're, they were trying to do this rec through reconciliation. OK, so the fact that they weren't able to get it through reconciliation, will they be able to get it through reconciliation next year anytime soon? Or, are we still going to be looking at Senator Manchin? and Senator Sinema in the way. And so the other option, the only other option they have, if they can't get this reconciliation bill through uh, as, as, a, as a complete bill, then they're gonna have to break them up, okay? And then they're just gonna have to see how politicians feel about it. It's an election year, so it'll be good uh, next year. So they're gonna have to see how politicians feel about a child tax credit. Are you for it or against it? Put it to the floor. Uh, see how they feel about expansions to Medicare. Put it to the floor. See how they care, how they feel about uh, social security reform, put that on the floor. So that's what they're going to have to do and have these politicians on record saying that they are, they're against a child tax credit, uh, have them on record saying they're against the expansion of Medicare. They're against social security reform. That's what's going to have to happen next year. I think in order for us to, to move forward with this, because it's just, you're not getting any support from the other side and you have division within the democratic party. So it's unfortunate. But uh, I did I did put that out there and let you guys know, you know, like I said, I like to be honest with you. I like to tell you what I'm seeing uh, and what I was seeing when it came to Build Back Better for for the last the last three weeks. It's really been um, it's really been out there. But just as a whole, they're not coming together fast enough to move forward with things. And because of that, I couldn't see them getting this done by the end of the year. So I want to know what you guys think about all this. I mean, I know it's a big mess and we have to understand this is this is our tax dollars at work. Okay, we're we're paying for these politicians to sit around and and really uh, do nothing. That that's the reality. 
Uh, we, we, we pay our taxes and we look at stuff like this. We look at division and uh, we look at Republicans not getting along with Democrats. We look at uh, Democrats. there trying to pass a bill and still having some uh, some senators in the Democratic Party that are just not for whatever reason wanting to come along. So there's just so much chaos. I want to know what you guys think about this whole thing. So let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.